Washukiwa walikuwa mahakamani. Kiwa na matumaini kuwa wataachiliwa kwa dhamana, lakini ombi lao liliambulia patupu. Jaji Joseph Karanja katika mahakama ya Naivasha akiwataka washukiwa wote sita kupelekwa Rumande Naivasha hadi siku ya Jumatatu atakapotoa uamuzi. Therefore this time the accused persons are to be remanded in custody at the Naivasha GK Remand Prison as is the norm in all other cases. Kiongozi wa mashtaka Catherine Mwaniki akitaka mahakama kutoachilia washukiwa hao hadi pale kesi hiyo itakaposikizwa na kuamuliwa akidai kuwa wote waliofikishwa mahakamani huenda wakahujumu uchunguzi unaoendelea and these are persons who can intimidate they are in a position to intimidate being influential persons especially in their positions of uh, employment if we then disclose if they are released on bail or bond and we then disclose the names to them there is a high likelihood and possibility for them to interfere and intimidate them before they are presented before court. That is not a kangaroo court. She cannot be allowed just to open her mouth and say anything that comes. Let her restrict herself to what is in the affidavit. If she wants to testify, let her cross over there. We'll be able to present her on, on the issues. We are of course disappointed that the decision did not come out. But uh, that is not the end of everything. We understand because the other accused persons came today and uh, their submissions took a long time. This has been pushed on to Monday for a ruling uh, and we, we, are, we, we can wait. Kuhayo ya kijiri katika eneo la mkasa wa solai. Mati ya seneti ilizuru kufanya uchunguzi wake. Wanakamati walipata malalamishi kutoka kwa waathiriwa wa mkasa huo uliotokea baada ya bwawa la Patel kuvunja kingo zake kusababisha vifo vya watu 48. Tangu siku ya kwanza nimekataa hiyo maneno ya kusema ni accident. Hiyo si accident. Hiyo si accident. Na sisi si wajinga tunaona. Hii inaitwa impunity. Impunity ni kusema nini? Wewe uko na madharau sana unamlipa mtu ambaye alikufiwa na mtu 1100 na yule ambaye ameangushiwa kanyumba unampatia mbili na hiyo inamaanisha ya kwamba wale ambaye wanaendelea kudhulumu wanyonge siku zao zimefika seneta wa makueni mutula kilonzo junior na seneta wa nakuru susan kihika ambao waliongoza shughuli hiyo wakiwaahidi waathiriwa kuwa watapata haki. Kwa sasa washukiwa wote watasalia rumande hapa Naivasha hadi siku ya Jumatatu ambapo jaji atakapotoa uamuzi wa iwapo watawachiliwa kwa dhamana au la. Stephen Leto Citizen Pashe Naivasha.